We're broadcasting live from Hexon, Texas, home of the spoilers. We're at AK-47 Stadium where the fans are required by law to carry firearms 24-7. So put your bulletproof vests on and let's go, America! Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Crooks and Skull Jugulars battle the Hexon Oilers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. <laughs> and MFL Game Day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. And stumbling, he could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Mistake there, thrown into tight coverage. The result is an interception. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. And boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Must be their lucky day. The offense comes up with the ball. And he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. First and ten. And the defense goes for the jug. And the whistle blows the play dead along with the quarterback. And it's first and ten. Point with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably able to intercept him. Hey, Bricks, you were hit more than a few times like that in your career. On and forth. And coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. What a miss, what a miss. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I got you, you bitch. First down in less than a year. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Singles as he runs off the field. How do you think he got those, Grim? Did you see him stripping on the sidelines? He's primed, you idiot. First down and long. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Second down in a mile. And the 
quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeves. One but... time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Oh, man. I can take death in this memorament, but that was, that was really just gross. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And that is caught for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> First and ten. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that'll be second and eight to go. Just keep pounding the ball right up. And that's a hell of a 
cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And he's off to the races. And they're catching up. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And then... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just... The hex on Oilers get crushed literally and lose by forfeit today. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you...